Welcome to Best Incorporated Soldering Tip of the Month. My name is Norman Meir and I'm a certified IPC Master Instructor for Soldering Skills. Today's tip will be utilizing lead-free solder in the installation and soldering of an SOIC20 gullwing leaded component using a multi-lead technique. We'll be creating the solder joints to the IPC 610 class 1, 2, and 3 target condition. I will be using a 0 .031 diameter lead free solder SN 96.3 AG 3.7 RMA solder along with an external RMA flux. The soldering tips I have chosen is first is a bent conical tip that I'll be using to tack the component into place and then switching over to a hoof tip as they are both shown The first here. step that you will be doing, which we have already done for you, was to clean our board of any contaminants or anything. Because sometimes you accidentally touch the board pattern areas, the, the lands, and you get oils from your hands and acids, which could contaminate and create poor solder joints. And the next thing you're going to do right after that is to position the part centered on all pads on all sides. So. Okay, on this part here, you notice that it has a, a notch and a line indicating pin 1 is right here. And on the board, we have a notch also. So make sure that you got them nice and centered and that everything is easy to work with. Next thing that we're going to use is an RMA flux here and here to tack the two corners into place. And now we are going to dry tack two lead, opposite leads into place. Hold the part firmly in the center but not so hard as you bend the legs. Just a gentle touch. Come with a clean tip. Hit the one foot. See solder flow then come off. Then come up to the opposite side and see solder flow now you've got this tacked. Now one of the things that I always want to make sure of is that the part's not going to move. So I'll slightly tap on it. There, it's completely secured into place. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to switch your tips out from that bent conical tip to that large hoof tip that I showed you earlier. Let's apply flux to all pad, foot and pad areas. Next lay the solder on top of the foot just like that over the entire foot area cleaning off your tip thermally shocking make sure you get all impurities off of it next thing you do is just come down and solder making sure the tip remains flat at all times come right over the top of the foot and solder area and come down just like so and then go to the next one clean off your tip a little bit so you don't get a large buildup and create that bridge Come right down on top of it, just like so. Once you have it completely soldered into place, what is the next thing you're going to do? Clean the board. Now that we got the part fully cleaned, it is time to inspect. Now with lead-free solder, one thing that we've got to remember is one, that you're going to use a higher temperature than you normally would during soldering approximately 50 degrees more in temp and the other thing you've got to look at is it's not going to be as shiny something that we're not quite used to yet but it looks kind of matty dull and grainy in appearance now that depends also again upon the different styles of it lead heel fillets solid. on the back side just angle your board a little bit just like so so you can see back there and again as you're going down through there you're going to notice it's not as shiny remember the statement in IPCA 610 about solder or appearance of solder. Some solders might be dull, matty, and grainy in appearance. And that's how lead-free solder is going to look. This is Norman Muir with Best Incorporated.